Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons and my channel members from our sister channel over at History in the Dark. You are the reason why this content remains out of this world. And today, we are going to discuss one of the many, 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 many wrong theories when it comes to why the dinosaurs went extinct. This one, in particular, I think deserves special mention because of how absolutely mind-numbingly insane it is. Please understand that there are very real people that really walk on this planet with us that really believe that the dinosaurs were driven to extinction by aliens. Why? The Cretaceous Paleogene, or KPG extinction event, which is sometimes called the Cretaceous Tertiary, or KT extinction, was a sudden mass extinction of about three quarters of the plant and animal species on the Earth. This extinction event included all non-avian dinosaurs. The only beings left on this planet with us that can be considered dinosaurs at all are modern-day birds. For a long time it was debated how the dinosaurs exactly went extinct, and many theories were thrown around, until evidence of a major asteroid impact was found that is believed to be the major cause of the extinction event. Some people think the asteroid simply wiped out all the dinosaurs in one foul swoop, but this would have taken at least a few thousand years. The asteroid impact itself would have killed quite a few, but the actual results of such an impact would have resulted in climate change, sea level change, volcanic eruptions, all sorts of mess all over the world. These swift and radical changes in the environment drove many species, including non-avian dinosaurs, to become extinct, leaving the playing field open for our ancestors, early mammals, to take over and become one of the more dominant species on the planet. There is a ton of scientific evidence to support this theory, and it's generally accepted that this is fact. This is exactly what happened, and now we know the truth. Except, we live on a planet of mixed opinions, and people that aren't scientists like to say things that aren't true. And one of the radical theories regarding the dinosaurs' extinction was that aliens came down and eliminated them in one way or another. And when I say aliens, I mean aliens, extraterrestrials, beings from another planet showed up and said, yeah, hmm, nope, nope, don't like those dinosaurs. They're big and scary, better murder them. And believe it or not, some people actually developed the theory into trying to understand the reasoning of these absolutely fictional aliens. And the major one appears to be, based on my understanding, that they were trying to lay the groundwork for our evolution. If the dinosaurs remain the dominant force, human beings would never evolve. Which is possible, but I mean, you're trying to understand the mindset of a fictional being that you just made up in your head. I, I, I mean, are you real? Is this happening? You may think that this theory might be just a fringe idea. Maybe one person came up with it and it's generally not accepted. And for real scientists that do real science, it's not accepted at all. It's ridiculous. And I'm gonna preface this whole thing by stressing with you, I myself personally, I don't believe in aliens at all. I don't think there's extraterrestrial life outside of our planet. My reasoning for this is that there simply isn't any evidence showing it. We haven't found any actual remains of any developed life outside of our own. I'm not saying it's impossible, of course not, but many people point out that, well, it's a big universe, you don't know, and that's kind of my argument though. Yeah, you don't know. We don't know what's out there. And people tend to use the idea of aliens, particularly interplanetary traversing aliens, as a way to justify us shirking our responsibilities as an intelligent species. If there are other developed beings out there that are further along than us, it means that we are not really responsible for the care and discovery of our universe. But if we are, it really is just us. And that's scary to people because suddenly learning about the universe and understanding it, being able to comprehend it in a way that is 
tangible that can be written down and the knowledge can be gathered and things of that nature, that responsibility would fall squarely to us and only us because we are the only ones. And as long as evidence of life outside of Earth is simply non-existent, I am of the opinion that there simply isn't any. Because right now the chances of there not being any are pretty much the same as there are being some. And many people these days want to believe in aliens. And I want to say, if you do, I don't really care. That's your opinion, that's fine. And I would be thrilled to death if we found signs of life outside of Earth. But so far, the best we've been able to do is find organics on Mars, which sounds like life, it ain't. It just suggests that life could have been there, but we still haven't found any actual remains on Mars. So that's a no from me. Either way, it doesn't matter. The point is, aliens definitely didn't kill the dinosaurs. We know what actually did. And this theory actually gained some more recent traction due to a television show, God help me, called Ancient Aliens. You're probably familiar with it based off of the meme. It's a show that runs on the, and I am so insulted by this, the History Channel. The History Channel runs a show called Ancient Aliens, and that's insulting to me. I run two different YouTube channels as an armchair historian, completely non-professional, I want to stress this, and I have more integrity in what I do here than apparently a major corporation who runs a television network called the History Channel. If you are calling yourself history anything, you should have the responsibility of delivering facts to your viewers. And the History Channel has shirked all of that by running one of the worst, most unscientific nonsense shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Because Ancient Aliens likes to discuss the notion that aliens were once among us, and have been among us repeatedly, throughout the course of human history, and even before that, and every single episode covers some different element of this, using a lot of tricky editing of real scientists to make it seem like they're saying something they're not actually saying, and using non-scientists as interviewers, presenting them as actual scientists, who, mind you, know nothing of what they're actually talking about, to try to manipulate the viewers into believing this type of pseudoscience nonsense. It's ridiculous! But one episode actually discussed the idea of the dinosaurs being eliminated by aliens. And mind you, this aired long after we'd pretty much determined the fact that it was an asteroid, not aliens. But why not? Just make something up to confuse people. I mean, I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. It makes for great TV. It's all about those ratings, people. Not about actually delivering the facts. Oh no, it's much better to tell blatant, unspeakable lies. And what's alarming about the episode in general is how in-depth they go with this theory. Because it's not just a matter of the aliens showing up and just blasting the dinosaurs with laser beams. Which sounds like a great draft of a sci-fi channel original movie. Not so much a great real science anything, but that's not the point. Because they don't do that. They actually bring on people that are actually creationists. People who believe the Bible is the exact verbatim way the Earth was created. And present them as actual scientists. Which is wrong. Uh, creationism has been proven repeatedly to be wrong in pretty much every way. I'm not actually interested in criticizing anyone's religion, but when you present yourself as a scientist and are saying things that aren't scientific, you're not educated in the fields, you're literally basing your own thoughts on the way you want the world to be, not the way it actually is, that annoys me. And it probably annoys God, if I had to guess. But what's hilarious about it to me is that the believers in alien life and the creationists have suddenly allied on this whole dinosaur thing. Like, they decided to team up. Which normally shouldn't be the case, because the belief in extraterrestrial life completely defies what the Bible says happened. The Bible makes it pretty clear that God sowed life on Earth. Very specifically Earth, and therefore the existence of aliens would kind of counteract this whole uh, creationist story you got going on. Is this really happening? They spend most of the episode making wild, unspeakably wrong assertions, even throwing an actual paleontologist, Roland T. Bird, under the bus by suggesting that he found footprints of a human alongside footprints of dinosaurs in the same time period. Mind you, Bird didn't find this at all. There was a hoax set up of human and dinosaur tracks that was completely made up, and Bird himself did see these and immediately saw them for what they were, completely fake. But the show suggests that, no, no, he totally found those and he believes that, even though as a paleontologist, Roland T. Bird does not believe that. 
The creationists mostly assert that dinosaurs and humans once coexisted, which is absolutely false. And they also go into detail about how carbon-14 dating is completely unreliable for dealing the age of dinosaurs, which, believe it or not, that's true. Carbon-14 dating is only good for about 60,000 years. You can't use it beyond that point, which is exactly why paleontologists don't use carbon-14 dating. They use different radiometric dating techniques, like uranium-lead dating, which is much more accurate for millions of years. But they cleverly left that part out because that would completely defeat the purpose of what they're trying to say. One of the alien believers even suggests that the aliens came down and literally turned the dinosaurs into something else. He brings up the coelacanth. It was thought to be extinct before a live one was found off the coast of South Africa in 1938. And it's true, species of coelacanth did live in the oceans while dinosaurs were still walking the planet, and had done so for millions of years. The narrator of the show then goes on to say that perhaps the aliens converted the dinosaurs into smaller, less dangerous animals via manipulating their DNA and turning them into coelacanths. Yes, really. Which is weird, because the coelacanth didn't actually go extinct at any point. They actually had existed 130 million years before the dinosaurs evolved in the first place. But don't worry, Giorgio Sucalos was there to explain this. He suggests that perhaps the coelacanth did go extinct, but then was revived by a direct guarantee from extraterrestrials millions of years later. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. Not only does the show manipulate and take out of context the actual real scientists they have on it, but it completely disrespects the viewer's intelligence by trying to manipulate them into believing this absolute cesspool of nonsense hogwash like the world has never seen before. It's horrific, and people online still believe this. Look, like I said, I don't believe in aliens, but if you do, that's fine. But let's agree on the point. At least give me this much. At least agree that aliens didn't kill the dinosaurs because we know that isn't the truth. To suggest otherwise is pure lunacy and spits in the face of the hard work of thousands of scientists over the last century to determine exactly why non-avian dinosaurs went extinct. The real reason, not some made-up fictional reason because you think the idea of aliens zapping dinosaurs from UFOs sounds cool. If you think that sounds cool, Great, there's plenty of science fiction out there, but that's exactly what it is. Not the truth. Also, History Channel, you can come at me, okay? I'm annoyed with you. And I have a serious question. Why in the blue heck does a dude on YouTube who talks about history and prehistory from a desk in the corner of a bedroom seem to have at least more integrity than you when it comes to delivering the truth to people? It's almost like you only care about making enough money not actually delivering honest facts. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.